diseases of sunflower so now we will see what are all the important diseases uh, that can affect uh, sunflower so scientific name of sunflower is helianthus annum so my name is janet shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so these are the list of important diseases uh, that can affect uh, uh, sunflower alternaria bite which is caused by alternaria helianthi rust which is caused by paxinia helianthi charcoal rot macrophomina fasciolina rhizopus head rot rhizopus species schleerosium wilt or rot which is caused by schleerosium rolfsi downy mildew plasmopora halstudy sunflower necrosis which is caused by sunflower necrosis and sunflower mosaic caused by sunflower mosaic virus now we'll see one by one in detail so the first one is alternaria blight which is caused by alternaria helianthi on the right side we can see so we can see dark brown or black color uh, uh, spots or black color or oval spots can be seen so the size ranges from 0.2 to 5 micro uh, sorry 0.2 to 5 nanometer sorry mm in diameter not nanometer or micrometer so 0.2 to 5 mm in diameter so these spots are these are oval or circular brown color spots so these spots are surrounded by necrotic or chlorotic zone we can clearly observe necrotic or chlorotic zone we can surrounded by necrotic or chlorotic zone here so the concentric rings can be clearly observed so cons formation of concentric rings is the characteristic feature of alternaria whatever the alternaria disease you can take so the concentration concentric rings so the formation of concentric rings will be the diagnostic feature of this alternaria blight so initially the symptoms appears on the lower surface so initial symptoms can be uh, appears on lower surface so later spread to the uh, middle and as well as you know middle regions so we can see and later spread to the upper leaves initially we can see this chlorotic spots or or you know uh, necrotic spots or concentric rings on the lower surface later we can see the spots on the upper surface so coming to the management aspects occurrence and severity of the disease that depends in especially on the season and planting dates so better to uh, you know we can avoid or we can adjust the planting dates according to the season so mid uh, september planting of sunflower remains free from the disease so you better to plant uh, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, pl uh, pl planting of material at the uh, mid of the september can be most favorable that can escape from the disease and foliar spray of 0.3% of mancozib four times at the interval of 10 days that controls the disease so we have to spray four times at a 10 days interval 10 days interval 10 days interval so ev for every 10 days for four times we have to spray the mancozib at the rate of 0.3% can check this disease second disease is rust which is caused by paxinia helianthi on the right side we can see on the lower surface of leaves we can see the brown color or red color pustules initially appears on the lower surface of leaves the lower surface of leaves we can see the brown color or red color pustules in the later stages they will slowly starts to extend from the younger leaves and as well as in later stages upper leaves also we can observe this symptoms in if you see this uh, in later stages it slowly starts to spread and the stem regions and as well as floral bracts we can see here floral bracts slowly it uh, extend to we can see small spots or red color or brown color spots we can see in floral pots also in ex in, in 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 advanced stages of the disease uh, the disease will spread from lower surface of leaves to floral bracts as well as petals we can see this disease so this all eurodospores are coalages and they can shows to uh, uh, which covers a large surface and they can shows to uh, uh, big uh, spots like uh, appearance when we look at from the distance so if this disease is combined with alternaria so that disease losses may goes to up to 40% or 50% of the losses that may can that we can uh, sense so coming to uh, management aspects spraying mancozib at the rate of 1 kg per hectare can be recommended for the control of this rust disease so coming to the charcoal rot which is caused by macrophomina fasciolina on the right side we can see the most common symptom of this disease is sudden wilting of plants plants slowly uh, sudden wilting of uh, plants can be seen usually this happens during flowering stage or during pollination stage this type of charcoal rot or sudden wilting or sudden death of plants can be seen if we cut open this if we cut open this plant or if we cut open this stem in in inside we can see drying of the uh, you know uh, vascular bundles as well as formation of a black color or formation of ashy discolorations of the stem can be seen due to the affection due to this charcoal rot it also produce sclerotia 
I mean, when we cut open the vascular bundle, we can also see the uh, sclerosis under microscope. So coming to the management aspects, soil application of Pseudomonas fluorescence or Trichoderma viride at the rate of 2.5 kg per hectare plus 50 kg of well decomposed farmyard manure or sand at the rate of, uh, at, I mean at 30 days after sowing can be uh, managed the disease at some extinct level and, uh, and the soil drenching of carbon disease at the rate of actual spoil soil drenching of carbon disease at the rate of 1 gram per liter uh, can be recommended. Rhizopus rot, next one is Rhizopus rot which is caused by uh, Rhizopus species. If you see it can affect the head only, mainly this uh, infection can be seen in head only. Here on the head region superficial white mycelial growth that is Rhizopus infection. This is the, we can see here superficial, superficial white mycelial growth can be seen here. After that what will happen, this superficial white mycelial growth which later slowly converts into black color. Here very small amount of grains are produced in the hair even though it produces a good amount of grain these grains are unfit for consumption because of heavy infestation of rhizophus so mainly this fungus affects during maturation stage or during the farm during the uh, you know grains formation stage this will be very problematic and uh, and this disease mainly we can see during the flowering stage or you can you know uh, during especially on the formation of grain formation stage only the superficial growth can be mainly we can observe on the head region so coming to the management aspects you know uh, application of uh, compatible insecticides or fungicide especially during the flowering stage or the grain initiation stage will be very very essential for uh, controlling of this uh, rhizophus infestation so uh, I'll moreover uh, you know uh, uh, spraying of mancozib at the rate of 2 gram per liter of water and uh, during you know uh, uh, which are in intermittent uh, rainfall or during head initiation stage or during rainfall stage before that if you better to uh, the spray mancozib at the rate of 2 gram per kilogram of uh, uh, sorry 2 gram per liter of water that can uh, reduce the infestation of this rhizophus. So coming to sclerotial wilt or sclerotium rot which is caused by sclerotium ralsi. The main symptoms we can clearly observe white color mycelial growth can be observed on the stem region or, or, or uh, in the root region we can see the white color clear mycelial growth. In advanced stages what will happen this sclerotium uh, resting bodies are you know mustard shaped uh, sometimes brown or black color sclerotial bodies are produced uh, in especially during uh, especially uh, uh, in stem region or especially in uh, you know uh, in, uh, in a root region. This is the most characteristic most identical and uh, diagnostic symptom of sclerotium rolvesi whatever the disease you can take white color mycelial growth can be seen in the in the in the later stages mustard shaped or seed shaped or seed shaped uh, you know small small balls like uh, sclerotia are produced that are more normally brown in color sometimes black in color and sometimes white in color mostly i you know initially it will starts with you know uh, white in color later turns to brown in color in advanced stages the same sclerotia converted into black in color we can see this white color mycelial growth on the stem region and if you look at uh, root region also we can see this white color same mycelial growth so mostly these symptoms can be appeared on uh, 40 or 50 days after uh, sowing why mainly if you, if you see high temperature time if, if, if there is a, any drizzle or if there is a, a little rainfall at the at, at heavy heavy uh, rainy seasons we can immediately find this disease so better to uh, uh, find out the uh, you know better to uh, uh, if you want to avoid we can we have to uh, follow the different uh, management practices that I'm going to tell you. So coming to the management practices so collect and destruct the plant debris and the seed treatment with capton or carboxin 3 gram per kilogram of seed or soil drenching at the at, at the base of the plant with carbon at the rate of 1 kilogram or oh, sorry 1 gram per liter can be recommended moreover if there is any raining season will occur heavy temperature with the raining season of Iraqas uh, within 4 to 5 days definitely the sclerotial growth can be seen at that time make sure that you are spraying something else or make sure that you are uh, drenching uh, some of the uh, fungicides what Whatever it is that is sclerotial destroying fungicides also available that is vinclozolin but I don't know whether it's recommended for all the crops or not but uh, in laboratory condition the sclerotial destroying fungicide is vinclozolin and uh, and for uh, regarding uh, you know uh, crop uh, production and uh, regarding uh, uh, different types of crops I don't know whether it's recommended or not and uh, these are all the different types of management practices for sclerotium rot or sclerotium wilt. So coming to the next one that is downy mildew which is caused by plasmopora hal study. 
so downy mildew the name itself indicates a white color downy growth can be seen on the lower surface of leaves and also yellowing of uh, leaves can be seen yellowing is the uh, the major symptom that can be seen in uh, downy uh, i mean uh, in a downy mildew and also white color downy growth majorly appear on the lower surface of leaves uh, later it starts to extend to the upper surface we can see this uh, discoloration uh, light green color discoloration or uh, if you compare to the original leaf uh, we can clearly observe this discoloration of leaves that indicates this uh, downy mildew and yellowing also can be observed along with that you know uh, downward curling of leaves can be seen and sometimes mottling can also be happens so greenish uh, 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 greenish conversion or uh, uh, yellowing of leaf that is i mean uh, from green color to yellowing of leaves uh, that will happen slowly and uh, fungal growth can be clearly visible at lower surface as i told you this downy growth mainly appears on the lower surface we can see here in the lower surface we can see the white color downy growth can be clearly seen on the yellowing along with the yellowing of leaves so coming to the management aspect seed treatment with metalaxyl at the rate of 3 g per kg of seed has been found to found to be very effective against this uh, downy mildew disease along with uh, choice of planting sites and disposal of the infected plant residues also give a fairly good control make sure that your uh, harvested crop should be clearly deposited in a, some particular area or clearly uh, destroyed or can be fired in a particular area make sure that collecting all the stubbles and uh, uh, depositing or dumping in a, some particular area will be very very essential uh, for the effective control of this disease so coming to the sunflower necrosis which is caused by sunflower necrosis virus so here uh, the virus was first reported from argentina we can see here this virus was initially reported from argentina the name itself indicates sunflower necrosis so necrosis of leaves necrosis in the sense that death of leaves can be seen so vein uh, vein swelling and necrosis of uh, uh, necrosis of leaves and curling of glooms can be seen mainly the name itself indicates necrosis in the sense the sunflower leaves are slowly curled and they will start to die and the dying is called necrosis or death of leaves or death of tissues is called necrosis so this disease can be managed a seed treatment with imidacloprid 2 g per kg of seeds can be recommended for the control of this disease because if we control the insect we can automatically control the disease that i am telling from a uh, uh, first powerpoint presentation onwards because if you want to control uh, a viral disease we have to control the vector because vector plays a major role in transmitting of viral diseases so imidacloprid is a insecticide so coming to sunflower mosaic which is caused by sunflower mosaic virus coming to the uh, uh, symptoms we can see mosaic itself indicates first of all yellowing of leaves can be seen so this is a mechanically transmitted virus sometimes it is also transmitted by f vectors that is f it's also so this sunflower necrosis virus is transmitted by mechanical transmission as well as vectors also that is f it is involved in the transmission so the different types of vectors that is f f is gasophi f is crossover f is malvaceae and you know uh, rofalocifium maidis is a uh, different types of vector which are involved in the transmission of this Uh, sunflower necrosis if we see this uh, symptoms uh, so small circular spots we can see initially yellowing of leaves is the typical symptom or the typical mosaic symptoms can be seen uh, later what will happen uh, the small spots will coalesce and the entire leaf uh, uh, will become yellow and uh, uh, we can see here in uh, you know the malformation of leaves and as well as uh, and the curling of leaves can be seen here edges we can see small curling of leaves can be seen on the malformation and the complete yellowing of leaves can be seen so coming to the questions uh, related to ars or net uh, uh, there is uh, nothing much we can see this uh, uh, look into but some of the disease like alternaria blight uh, we can uh, maybe casual organisms so definitely they may ask or uh, there is uh, you know rust and rhizopus rot is a very very important disease definitely they can ask uh, some questions are casual organisms especially casual organisms related to this along with maybe uh, vectors related to uh, sunflower necrosis virus or sunflower mosaic viruses related to vectors they may ask but uh, so as i told you from uh, earlier presentations that uh, uh, you know uh, identify i mean uh, uh, remembering of 
of each and every casual organism will be very very important so make sure you guys are practicing or uh, you know uh, uh, follow your own way and the one uh, your own method to remember all the casual organisms uh, at least uh, some casual organisms that so that you can have an idea and uh, you know how to remember casual organisms so make sure that uh, uh, each and every casual organism will be very very important don't neglect anything and moreover uh, the practice with a uh, pen or paper whatever you guys uh, uh, will uh, you know uh, like to do so this is about sunflower and the diseases